I'm sorry I won't say sorry about my poem. I'm so sorry because poetry knows no borders and boundaries. My apology, I won't apologize for my poetry. I'm not apologetic, neither will I apologize. Truth must be said as it is without fear, bias or favor. Africans are enjoying fake independence. Africans are doing their level best to impress their colonizers. Our colonizers are still in control and their puppets are called leaders. I am not protecting criminals, but I want transparency and fairness to everyone. I am not too clever, but I am against the victimization of freedom fighters when murderers are walking free. I am not a political activist, but I am a poet. I am not a politician, but I am a pan-Africanist. I am not inciting public violence, but I want the public to know the truth about fake African independence. I am not an expert in law. But I'm a loyal African. I'm not a Zulu, but I'm a Zimbabwean. I'm not a South African, but I'm a bona fide African. I'm not a South African, but I'm a Southern African. Basically, South Africa's problems are my problems. Honestly, poets are the voice of the voiceless. Is South African judiciary independent or it's captured? What's the position of ANC about Zuma's imprisonment? How many people died in detention in South Africa and how many arrests were made? What's the problem between Zondo and Zuma? How many billions did the Zondo Commission spend to conduct its work? What's the crash between Ramaphosa and Mshololozi? Why is Ramaphosa on mute about his former boss's imprisonment? Is the imprisonment of Zuma political or criminal? How many innocent South Africans died in detention? Who was the responsible and how many arrests were made? How many times did Botha refuse to appear before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission? How many white heads of state were imprisoned for enslaving and slaughtering blacks in South Africa? Was the clerk arrested for murdering black people? Instead, he was honored with a Nobel Peace Prize award. Gathenbo, Mchetwem Zanz Africa, Lihaba. Why is Zuma's case treated differently to other South African citizens? Why is his case not treated procedurally? Why did his case start from Magistrate Court, High Court, Regional Court and Supreme Court of Appeal? Why was his case taken straight to Constitutional Court where he won't be given any breathing chance to appeal? Black South Africans are being manipulated. They are going for each other's distrust to impress oppressors. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let Molefe, the former ESCOM CEO, come finish his testimony. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the sharp massacre perpetrators brought to book. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the Marikana mine owners be arrested. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let all criminals be arrested. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the killers of Steve Van Biko be arrested. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the killers of Steve Van Biko be revealed. If you really mean justice in South Africa, Chris and his murderers should have been asked to reveal who assigned them to kill him as a strict condition of their release. If you really mean justice in South Africa, hostels should be demolished long back ago and those people built their own houses. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the holy South Africans apprehend, arrest and imprison Mshololos. If you really mean justice in South Africa, let the land be repossessed and given to its rightful owners. Aluba Izolem Zanzilabu Yangempela Abo Akom Tu Omnyamo Shalem Kukwini Ema Chochombe Nasema Hostel Gaslenbo, I'm Gazalongati, Yeganum Sholos, Banding Abandaba and Amatala Makulo Blalem Sansa Frika. Botha took the law into his own hands. He was rude because of his age and health. He refused three times and ignoring summons to appear before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. He only paid a fine not even worth to buy a sick calf. Only a crime that cannot be justified or nullified by paying a fine. Now the criminals who killed Jews are still arrested even today. If apartheid was generally declared a crime against humanity, how come criminals involved in that criminal system were not arrested? If the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report given to Mandela was authentic. If it wasn't a toothless bulldog or a sellout settlement, how come after so many years no one has been prosecuted? Zuma's saga is a stand test for black South Africans. After so many painful and answered years, the clerk said, Apart that wasn't a crime against humanity, he was supported by Afri Forum and the Clerk Foundation. Gatlenbo, Agungadalwangati, Yeganum Sholos Mfogangamalala. Mandela was imprisoned for 27 years in Robins Island. Those imprisoned him were never guilty and are walking free. The family of Ahmed Timol was killed in detention. The truth hasn't been revealed. Their killers were not brought to book. Steve Bantubiko was brutally and cold bloodly assassinated. But Zondo Commission's agenda is on Zuma only. Zuma only.
Amakta laga zuma akri tuwa enkantolo ngo kusemte tweni Akta la pansi akri tuwa nga bantaba neziko wa zumteto Amakta la kabe u 700 manja u 83 Ashona pila manyama allocations wake Beza na makta la bawa khotlise Beza na manya bawa khotlise Wazo wa patu walibu sizo la semzans Afrika Gashen bo agunga talo angati Mzwa Kembulu was denied bail three times at the regional court. One in Dongobube and Dinyamenga Ildanga. His home was patrol bombed and he wasn't compensated up to date. Steve Bantu because Wito is still suffering. Nothing is being done to her and all apartheid victims. Haibo, Amunga Zalwanga Atila. The fruit of Mchata is on mute. It hasn't been executed and implemented. Education is not for free and composer up to date in South Africa. Health is not for free even up to date in South Africa. Black South Africans are still unemployed and homeless after independence. All eyes are sold on Jacob Zuma or Senkandla only. When Zeni, Ulen Gabanu Kezeki Sumforam Shorows, Amatala Samsans Africa and Tetwa Ganjani na Kubi, Kushubilisimo Simon Zon Zemzans Africa. Isolem Zans Algaga Bui, Kulin Dwen Ganti, Kukoni Sandla Sem Fenela, Kukono Zamanchon Jem Sam, Unga Vumim Shorows, Incoming Azali in Jawazulu, Vuga Shaga, Vuga Nottingani, Tanino Sanzana Konani Lolunga Malala, Vuga Zulom Yama, Akvela Winye Uma. Wenyewa, aluta kontinyewa, walala wasala, vuga taki, vuga taki, vuga taki, vuga taki. I am Opetitube, the African poet.